Hi, I'm back. I'm so sorry for some reason the the internet. The, it's not actually the internet. It's just actually uh, my Facebook live broadcast. Kanina, it just shut down from my OBS. Pero pasensya na po. I was talking about um, yung pong pag pagsasabi na bawal po magkampanya starting tomorrow, which is Monday, Thursday, and um, uh, Good Friday, Good Friday, bawal po, no? So, um, uh, yun po, let's observe po yung uh, respeto, yung sinabi ng Comelec na bawal ang kampanya tomorrow, uh, Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday. At the same time, connect, in connection to that, yung sinabi po naman po ng pangul na ang alert level 1 po is... Um, in those most places that I enumerated at dito po yun sa, sa Pampanga po yung news po sa Mabalakat continue po yung mga festivities pati yung pag uh, self-flagellate in, in allow po kasi sa Tarlac pwede rin daw po yun pero yung ano please observe pa rin yung ating social distancing take pictures make memories wag na po tayong maging ano pasaway na magdikit-dikit no at saka yun nga walang kampanya tomorrow bawal <clears throat> so, walang magbibigay ng mga, mga freebies. So, please, pumunta tayo. Ayun nga, and, and when, when we go for Visita de Iglesia, at manonood ng presisyon, tsaka yung mga pabasa, please observe pa rin social distancing, mag-wear ng masks, tsaka ano po, yung, what do you call this? Um, uh, uh, observe pa rin tapo. Don't uh, mag-wear pa ng mask, tsaka yun, huwag tayo maging ano po. Uh, masyadong kampante, no? We still, and yun na nga, wag magkalat. That's what I was saying. Wag magkalat, uh, and don't use mga plastics, use the mga uh, disposable na paper cups and all those things. And pick up after your kalat. Kung kayo magpipiknik or pupunta anywhere, please uh, observe those things. Use eco-friendly stuff kasi uh, we're also trying to save our environment, di ba? Anyway, nawala ang aking nabayan. Uh, bigla na lang na, na nawala ako dun sa <laughs> pinapag-usapan ko. But anyway, so uh, I know, Angelica, bigla na lang nawala talaga. Tapos ito na naman ako, nasa phone na tuloy ako. Nag, nawala na naman yung OBS ko, connection ko. Eh, ang dami-dami kong prepare, pati graphics, nakakainis. But anyway, uh, Going back to the things that I was saying, so no campaigning on Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday. Tapos po doon sa mga nagta-travel, ang, ang Cebu Pacific po mayroong offer, 88 pesos lang one way to go to to to, to places. So tingnan nyo po yan, it's only good hanggang, hanggang April 30 pwede kayong bumili ng tickets. 88 pesos lang, so I'm so sure nagdagsaan na naman nilang bumibili, right? Anyway, Cebu City, it's a pre province place under street of calamity pa rin, so sorry. Uh, dahil nga doon sa Agaton and some places, no? So, tulungan po natin uh, ang Cebu City, tsaka ang mga Visayas yun na naman, kaka so, nagre-recover pa rin sa Odette. Ito naman tong Agaton. So please, patuloy po tayong tumulong kung, kung saan tayo makakatulong, okay? Uh, kasi nasa alert level pa rin sila. I mean, uh, stage of emergency pa rin sila, okay? So, uh, on that note, uh, meron akong gustong ibalita na statistics, no? Uh, let me just, I'll just put my headlines. PSA deaths and marriages are up, 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 births are down in 2021. Totoo yun, okay? Uh, Amid the prolonged COVID-19 pandemic, okay, yung mga deaths in the Philippines jumped by nearly two-fifths to 853,074 noong 2021, okay? Not only due, hindi lang because of COVID, okay? But also because nga, kung maalala natin, na wala ang attention on other deadly diseases because nga, takot magpunta sa ospital, takot mahawaan. So yung mga iba, hindi nag-hospital. So tumaas ang death rate po noong 2021, because of uh, the, the less of attention given to other deadly diseases, okay? The latest preliminary data as of February 28, po, was, which was released by the Philippine Statistics Authority, or PSA, showed registered deaths in the country rose by 
uh, in 2020. An earlier PCA report showed that confirmed and unconfirmed COVID-19 cases combined became the second leading cause of death in the Philippines in 2021, with a total of 105,723 deaths attributed to the coronavirus last, last year, 2020. COVID-19 was just behind schematic heart diseases, the cause of 136,575 deaths in 2021. So based on the data submitted po ng PSA by city and municipal registrars nationwide, as of January 31st ng taon na ito po, 2022, COVID-19 with virus identified log 74,008 deaths last year on top of 31,715 also attributed to the coronavirus pero hindi identified, okay? National statistician Dennis Mapa had explained that deaths caused by unidentified COVID-19 were not being reported by the Department of Health or ng DOH in its tally as these cases have been unlikely tested for the disease. Okay. Identified and identified COVID-19 deaths in 2021 po jumped to 250.2% from the total of 30,188 in 2020 at the onset ng pandemia. Last year po, COVID-19 deaths with virus identified climbed 694.4% from only 9,316 noong 2020, while those unidentified increased, okay, 51.9% from 2020. Tungkol naman sa mga birth, okay, meanwhile, the PSA's latest data showed that the number of registered births, okay, declined by 14.3% to 1.31 million last year from 1.53 million in 2020, okay? It was a further drop from 1.67 million births recorded in 2019, bago mag-pandemic po, no? Last January naman, Mapa told the inquirer that one reason for declining births was changing behaviors of couples, opting to delay pregnancy due to the pandemic. Totoo naman yan. Tsaka, hindi na rin po dahil sa pandemic eh. Nowadays, nag-iba na rin ang mindset ng mga bago mag-asawa, yung bago mga magpamilya. Iniintindi muna nila yung career, mag-ipo ng pera, right? Because we all know it's not the biro to have children, okay? So once there's children, more responsibilities, and of course, do sa mag-asawa, na bagong mag-asawa, less time for each other. So, na, ang mindset po ng mga bag, newly married couples na magpapamilya ay naiba na at saka they're biding their time because of course focus is on career and enjoying being together as a couple muna kasi uh, dapat niya malaman of course once the babies come iba na talaga rin ang magiging relationship niya with each other the time and the, the commitment ay mahahati na talaga of course sa, sa, sa isa't isa at sa mga anak niyo alright so um so yun mo, the, some parents were unable to immediately register their newborn child. Another pandemic-induced reason for lower birth rates nga is because yung mga ibang parents na nagkaanak itong sa pandemic were un, not able to register their children right away, okay? They didn't register their newborn children due to movement restrictions aimed at containing COVID-19, okay? To recall, the Philippines in 2020 and 2021 imposed one of the largest and strictest lockdowns in the region, if not the world. Hello, we had the longest lockdown, and we are still in the longest lockdown, right? Truth be told, diba? MAPA had also said couples' use of modern planning methods likewise reduce births. The reproductive health law was aimed at slowing down the birth and fertility rates among Filipino women to control the ballooning population, okay? Understand, understandably so. So, nandun na tayo sa death. Tapos sumunod naman, birth, death, birth, and anong pinagbumula nitong, ano to, na birth ay marriage. Uh, kamustahin natin yung mga pagkakasal nitong pandemia. Uh, the decrease in 2020 marriages was another reason for the lower births, okay? The PSA reported last January, alam niyo naman to, Catholic country, kung walang marry, walang anak pang magagawa, kaya ay sinabi yan, no? Kasi syempre, pag narinig to ng mga iba, sa ibang bansa, parang inisip na, anong connection ng, ng marriage sa ano, lower birth rate kasi hindi naman baliwala sa kanila yun. But anyway, 
The PSA reported last January that the number of registered marriages in the country fell to 240,775 in 2020, the lowest in 50 years. But as the economy gradually re reopened and the most stringent quarantine restrictions were dismantled since late last year, the latest PSA data showed that the number of registered marriages climbed at 43.9% to 346,595 in 2021, reversing the decline at the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay? The data on number of births, marriages, and deaths, uh, vital events presented in this uh, report were obtained from the Vital Events Registry, either timely or belatedly, at the appropriate office of the city municipal register throughout the country. Okay? So, yan po ang galing yung mga survey na yan. No? So, yan ang reason. Okay? Yan ang po ang, ang news regarding deaths, birth, and marriages sa Pilipinas. No? Pero ito, no, itong year na to, or parang towards the latter part of last year, dumami yung mga virtual weddings, no? truth be told, talaga, dumami naman, right? Ang mga uh, virtual weddings na sinasabi. Okay? So, yeah, nagahang naman ng computer ko, ano ba yan? Okay, balikan naman natin itong news na ito tungkol sa metaverse, so, ang tagal-tagal ko nang gusto pag-usapan to. All right. Sa Bangkok po, although organized water fights have been banned again in Thailand, okay, uh, ban, song, song Kran or S-O-N-G -S Kran, splashing parties flood into the metaverse. Ito, pakita ko sa inyo. Kasi yung aking OBS ayaw na naman gumana. Ito yan, news na yan. Oh. Yan yung metaverse parties, oh, di ba? Song Kran, splashing parties flood into metaverse. Ayan. Yan ang metaverse na itsura, yung 3D. A metaverse po, sa mga hindi nakakaalam, yan po ang virtual world na kinate ni Max Zuckerberg na may ari ng Facebook na ngayon ay meta na. Yan po ang bagong social media. Ang mga tao po ay hindi tao, hindi mukhang tao. And, and instead, we are these kinds of cartoons, oh, mga caricatures and, and actually 3D animated uh, graphics, uh, you know, moving uh, people, no? Yan po ang metaverse na sinasabi. Right? Anyway, sa Bangkok po, although organized water fights have been banned again in Thailand, there's still one place where people around the world can get trigger happy at Songkran. Yan po ang kanilang batuhan ng tubig yata. Revelers can now choose an avatar and plunge into the full Thai New Year experience in the metaverse. The One Siam X Zepato Metaverse Songkran Festival 2022 is a collaboration between property giants Siam Piwat and the Zepeto chat app. Siam Piwat owns Siam Paragon, Siam Center, and Siam Discovery Shopping Malls, okay? While Zepeto is a 3D avatar chat app made by South Korea's Naver Z Corp, the owner of Line. Ayan po yung Line ang ginagamit sa Japan, di ba? At ayan, parang mga WhatsApp po yan. Zepeto boasts around 300 million users. Wow! who create their own 3D avatars to socialize in the virtual world. Ayan nga po yung avatar pala po yun. Yung 3D na mga graphic uh, figures na yun. No? Ayan po ang metaverse. Sa metaverse, ganyan ang itsura ng mga tao. Siam Piwat said customers of its shopping malls could download, Zip, download Zipeto and create their 3D avatars to immerse themselves in the Songkran spirit via the one Siam X Zipeto metaverse. So yung event na yan, supposedly, ayan no? ay gagawin nilang virtual. Okay? Users can play the role of a fashionista called One Siam, browsing the One Siam shop for fashion items including traditional Thai costumes, sunglasses, and water guns. Okay? Once they are dressed and armed, next stop is Beach Town for song crumbs splashing with Zepeto users from around the world. Yan pa yung pagbabasaan nila. Parang araw ng San Juan sa atin sa San Juan sa Quezon City, no? San Juan pala. San Juan City. Metaverse revelers can also meet avatars of popular entertainers in Thailand and enjoy Songkran beach parties from April 13 to 19. Wow! Customers who visit Siam Paragon to download the One Siam Super app and Zipeto app will also be uh, handed gift vouchers from leading stores in the mall. 
the One Science Super app is an e-shopping platform showcasing items from all three shopping malls. Okay. So, yan po, no? Yan po ang kasiyahan sa Bangkok. Yung Sokran Festival nila kasi. Eh, hindi, hindi na magiging live. Ito po yung itsura na yan, no? Let me show you. Ayan ang Sokran. Paano nga talaga, ano, sa one day sa, sa Philippines? There, oh. Bangkok cancels Sokran festivities. Yung live. Shots entertainment venues on Kausen Road. Ayan, basaan, no? Oh. Eh, parang araw ng sanuman din talaga. Ganun din talaga basaan. So now, they can do that virtually. Right? Okay. Okay. So, uh, Philippines pa rin, no? Yun na, sinabi na natin yung mga kailangan natin sabihin dito na tungkol sa election at tungkol sa Holy Week, alright? Uh, let's go pa rin, international news, no, diretso natin. Uh, I, I wanted to talk about uh, well, kasi issue, issue rin nowadays po, popular issue to rin, tungkol sa kay Elon Musk as how he bought 90, 90, 9 point something percent of Twitter. And then, kahapon po, binilita ko na yung mga ibang empleyado, empleyado ng Twitter ay hindi ma naging masaya. They were not so happy about the news of Elon Musk being on the board of, uh, of Twitter. But as of, as of uh, this morning, I heard that he didn't. I, did, I don't think he accepted being part of the board. Pero yun nga, medyo delikado yun kasi you know, it's a bean, eh, pwede pa rin yung bilhin yung major shares. Diba yun nga yung sinabi ng Twitter, they wanted him to be on the board para ma-practice ma 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 nila yung, yung rule na kapag board member ka, you can't buy any more than 14% of the company. And because they don't want na Elon Musk to control the majority of the stocks of Twitter, much less own Twitter na. So, I, eh, ano nga yun yung kututuong hindi nga yung tinanggap? Hmm. Well, uh, Um, in connection to that, okay, Twitter says, ito, Musk is not joining the board, okay? Ito, this was as of a few days ago. Finally, sinabi ng Twitter, he is not joining the board because they are being warned of distractions ahead. Elon Musk rejected, ah, yung pala, siya naman na nag-reject. Elon Musk rejected Twitter's offer to join its board, a dramatic turn in a week when the billionaire became its biggest shareholder, with a social media company warning of distractions ahead. The company's board held many discussions with, with Musk. Twitter Chief Executive Officer Parag Agarwal said in a note posted to the site last Sunday, but did not disclose the reason for the Tesla's chief decision. Twitter shares were down about 2% at $45.31 in pre-market trading on Monday. They soared 27% on April 4 when Musk made his stake public. Wow. But have since shed 7.5% of those gains. Uh, they pl the planned appointment was due to become effective last Saturday. Sinabi ni Agrawal to. Kaya lang, uh, virtually preventing the world's wealthiest person from becoming a beneficial owner of more than 14.9% of Twitter's common stock. Siya na ba talaga ang world's richest man in the world? I believe this is for the best, sinabi ni Agrawal. There will be distractions ahead, but our goals and priorities remain unchanged. Pero plano yung nga yun talaga eh. Kung siyang board member, eh, siya lang umayaw. Oh. Musk, whose net worth is pegged at two, 274 billion by Forbes, which is man nga, oh my gosh, responded only with a face with hand over mouth emoticon on Twitter. Tesla did not immediately respond to an email seeking comment from its CEO. Okay? Musk, who calls himself a free speech absolutist and has been critical of Twitter, disclosed a 9.1 stake on April 4 and said he planned to bring about significant improvements at the social media platform. Kasi nga, diba, speculative yung mga tao kung bakit niya binili yung Twitter in, sa pandemya na to, tsaka lumang ano na siya, platform, well, kasi diba, yun ang favorite platform niya na social media, ang Twitter. That's where he vents, that's where he does his mga polls. So I guess, you know, 
may nagsabi na baka gustong kalabanin si Facebook or si Metaverse or si Mark Zuckerberg. I don't think it's gonna fly like that because, you know, Facebook is Facebook and so with uh, Instagram and all those other things that the guy developed. And Twitter is an old, parang, in, in my sense, well, veteranong ano to, social media platform na gustong i-develop ni, improve ni Musk. Baka mamaya gawin na rin yung 3D itong Twitter. O kaya, mag-launch ng Twitter sa outer space kaya. <laughs> But because of course, you know that Elon Musk is the, uh, the mind behind Tesla and of course SpaceX, yung mga spaceship na pinare-rent and, mga, and space travel. Uh, space travel expeditions and mga testings po, pinafund niya yan. Anyway, The disclosure of the stake has stoked widespread speculation on his intentions, ranging from a full takeover of the platform to taking an active role in corporate decision. Okay? Musk's latest decision opens the possibility, yun na nga, for him to take a larger position and potentially make an all-out bid for Twitter. Yun na nga bang sinasabi, di ba? Kaya nga nila in-offer para wag siyang magkaroon ng mas malaking stake sa sa Twitter. Ang kaso nga, hindi siya pumayag. So, anong ibig sabihin nun, di ba? Ano yung kanyang intentions? That is right. Open for speculation pa talaga to this point. We had thought the equity cap and board seat was originally intended to handcuff Musk in many respects and think he is unlikely the type of individual who will now just sell his stake and walk away. So, nabi ito ni Zina. News of Musk taking a board seat had some Twitter employees actually panicking and want, and threatening to leave or wanting to leave their posts. Over the future, because they're worried about the future of the social media company's ability to melt moderate content, uh, kasi pag inisip nila kung si Musk na, hindi na nila makokontrol yung content. No? So, Anyway, na po, nawala kanina, so Angelica, how are you gonna spend your holy week? Besita de Iglesia, is that what I... Parang yun lang ang nakuhanan ko ng glimpse sa sinabi mo, kasi di lang nawala ako sa ere. Uh, so, Besita de Iglesia, those things, are you gonna do the right o- route of uh, visiting churches? Ako po, sa bahay lang, tapos sa weekend, sa holy, sa Easter Sunday, I'm going to be with the Lakap family for the Easter uh, holiday uh, celebration sa pag, uh, pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon at the same time birthday po ng aming Tita Pri uh, Maniago happy happy birthday in advance po Tita Pri anyway so uh, before taking a stake Musk ran uh, a poll pa ba diba? uh, kasi nga no he, he was asking users if, if they believe Twitter sticks to the principle of free speech so nagumpisa na siyang kumuha ng mga contention ng mga tao. And after becoming the largest stakeholder, he launched another poll asking users if they wanted an edit button, a long-awaited feature on which, on which Twitter has been working on, right? The Tesla boss also asked users in a poll if Twitter's headquarters should be converted into a homeless shelter, a plan backed up by Amazon.com, uh, na si, sinabit ko ng founder na, ng Amazon na si Jeff Bezos, Okay. No Saturday, Musk suggested changes to the Twitter Blue Premium subscription service, including slashing its price, banning advertising, ba? and giving an option to pay in the cryptocurrency Dogecoin. It's clear Musk wants to retain the full freedom to criticize company policy, to steer it in its desired direction of travel. Our griefs lance down, analyst Susanna Streeter said in a note, he still has a ringside seat, remaining the biggest shareholder and also has the power of his 81 million Twitter followers to do just that. Imagine, ang followers niya po ay 81 million. Oh my God. So yun, yun po ang kinakatakot ng mga taga-Twitter at ng mga uh, mga empleyado ng Twitter sa pagpasok po ni Elon Musk sa kanilang organization. Wow. Well, what can we do? Right? Nothing much. Nothing much. Okay. So, uh, uh, okay, uh, concerning travel naman po, no? Let's talk about traveling. 
because most countries are now open for traveling. Kung saan saan na po nagpupunta ang mga tao amidst the Omicron infection kasi nga po uh, napatunayan ng marami na, na nag-survive na Omicron na para lang itong flu pero syempre hindi naman natin ina- sinasuggest na magbaliwalain nyo na yung Omicron. But of course kasi nga travel restrictions are uh, are less rigid and people are going all over the world and yun nga yung isang beses uh, minention ko dito na yung Canada is looking for workers and migrant workers in the millions to, to support their economy, okay, and help their economy, okay? And at the same time, uh, somebody's crashed, but anyway, uh, naman po, may balita, regarding Portugal, how to become a resident and citizen of Portugal. For those interested, no, na gustong makarating sa Portugal at maging citizen, meron mong way, okay? It's no secret among high net worth individuals that investment migration is an excellent way to improve global industry, mobility, secure wealth, and increase options in terms of where you can live and conduct business. Tsaka talaga itong pandemya na to, this pandemic has given rise to a lot of people rethinking their situations, rethinking about what they can do, finding new careers, finding new jobs, finding new uh, businesses to have, and finding new investments, no? Itong pandemic na po talaga ito, nagbigay ng ganyang opportunity sa maraming tao mong isip-isip. So, uh, global vol- volatility, okay, is the new normal. So, having greater op- optionality is more important than ever. Talaga po, nowadays po talaga, ang options yun talaga dapat open ang mind nyo to many options, no? Ilang prongs yan talaga. Ako for one talaga, never stop thinking of things to make things better for life or for my family, okay? And always looking at possibilities and options, right? Now more than ever, okay? So global volatility is the new normal to having greater op- optionality, okay? It's more important than ever. With so many residents and citizenship by investment programs to choose from, it may be difficult to decide which is best. A clear favorite has emerged in Europe. However, the Portugal Golden Resident Permit Program it's a key attraction of Portugal's golden visa that after five years you can apply for Portuguese citizenship with no need to relocate, although you may, might be tempted, okay? So, paano to? Across the globe, interest in Portugal as a residence and investment destination is growing. And Filipino investors are no exception, ah. Even investors from developed nations with strong econ- economies and powerful passports such as the UK and the USA, mm-hmm, are choosing Portugal. Here are a few reasons why. Ano ba bang kanilang pinag-uusapan? Sandali nga. Wait a minute. What is that? Ay. Sorry. Ito ang kanilang pinag-uusapan. No? Ito. Tada! There's power in this daw. Aha. So, so yeah, uh, powerful passports. Well, I can, I can say, yeah, opportunities. Yes. Anyway, so Portugal. So, so uh, you know those powerful passports like that are choosing Portugal. Bakit? Ano ang reasons why naging feasible ang Portugal? Let me just show you. Okay. Possibility sa kung gusto niya mag-invest kung saan. Okay, Portugal, okay, bakit? Because Portugal has an excellent reputation as one of Europe's safer, safest and most prosperous nations, okay? Ano pa? World-class education, healthcare, and financial incentives are available in Portugal. Wow. The country's economy is one of the most stable in Europe. Foreign visitors and investors are welcome in multicultural Portugal. Portugal offers a crypto-friendly environment, currently with no tax on cryptocurrency. All right? You can invest in real estate to acquire the golden visa. Portugal is a member of the Euro- European Union, or EU, so its residents can live and work in any EU country and also enjoy visa-free travel to Europe's Schengen area. 
after just five years of being a golden resident permit holder, you can apply for citizenship. Para tong green card ng Amerika. Sa Amerika, after five years mo ng may green card, pwede ka mag-apply ng American citizenship. Just like here in Portugal nga. Sa kanila, golden visa ang tawa. Golden residence permit holder. Entitles you to citizenship after five years. Portuguese citizens enjoy visa-free or visa-on-arrival tra travel to 187 destinations. That's over 120 more, more than with a Philippine passport. Okay, so, yun po, no? So, mag-isip-isip na kayo na baka gusto niyong mag-migrate sa Portugal. Multiple investment options are available daw, okay? Ano? Ano-ano ang investment options of Portugal? There are many options available for acquiring a Portugal Golden Residence Permit or yung parang green card namin sa Amerika. Una-una, capital transfer. Four options with the lowest being Euro 200,000 euros in support of artistic production or national culture, cultural heritage in a low population density area. Number two, business development. Okay? Two pathways with minimum requirements of creating at least eight jobs or investing 500,000 euros in a Portugal registered company. Yan po yung mga mag invest no? Real estate po, malaking bagay. Two options with a starting point of just 280,000 euros invested in real estate in a low population density area. So pag mag-invest kayo ng ganong ways, pwede kayong maka-acquire ng Portugal Golden Resident Certificate or, or Resident Permit. Okay? Tatlong bagay, no? Uh, there are multiple investment options. There are many options, pero there are three ways na very must feasible. Okay? Yung capital transfer, magka capital, uh, ka, ka, mga capital kayo ng ang 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 ano lang up to two hundred thousand euros lang po sa marami mga pera naman to support an artistic production or natural cultural heritage. Yung pag pag preserve po ng cultural heritage, Mag invest kayo don, pwede na kayo magmaisyohan ng golden visa. Business development ngayon, uh, min two pathways with minimum requirements of creating at least eight jobs for people or investing 500,000 in a Portugal registered company. Tapos yun nga, real estate po. Starting point of ang, ang ginastos niya bumili ay 280,000 euros invested in real estate sa, sa low populations or sa mga liblib na lugar. Okay? So, ang Portugal's Golden Visa is a pathway to to their citizenship. Diba? Ang ganda naman ng Portugal. Diba? As mentioned, one of the biggest attractions of Portugal's Golden Visa is the pathway to being eligible for Portuguese, Portuguese citizenship after five years of residence. Pero kamasay naman natin yung Portugal, di ba, as a country. During that time, the minimum stay requirement is only 35 days. If you choose to invest in real estate, you have the right to rent out your property. Ayun pa. So you could add a revenue stream for, for most of the year and use your new premium as seasonal vacational home. With so many benefits, it's no surprise that Portugal takes the top position diba, in acquiring uh, residency. So, to find out to become a, how to become a resident and citizen, reach out to uh, Scott Moore, Managing Director and Head of the Philippines Office at Henley and Partners, the global leader in residence and, and citizenship by investment. So, ito po yun, ha? So, mga... mga uh, in, uh, venture capitalists, investment management people, or those who have a, a lot of extra money to invest in a country, yun po, sa Portugal po daw mag-invest. And yun, sa tatlong ways na yun kayo pwede mag-invest, no? Capital transfer, business development, saka real estate. Okay? Very good. So, dyan po sa note na yan, I'd like to, uh, okay, of course, recap to bring usapan natin, okay, po sa election, uh, bawal po ang kampanya starting tomorrow hanggang Good Friday, uh, pwede na mag zoom sa Saturday and at the same time po, please practice pa rin social distancing and the safety protocols dahil open na po sa Pampanga yung mga festivities ng Holy Week, ni mga festivities yung mga rituals or yung mga ginagawa natin, pati yung mga precision, pero please please be, be vigilant and observe the minimum uh, protocols, health protocols regarding COVID-19 uh, wala na po Ito pong today po ang last day ng programming namin dito sa broadcast stream, uh, broad streamcast communicators for Holy Week, ha? hindi po yung forever because we will resume on Sunday. So ako po, today's my last day here for this week because we are not broadcasting tomorrow uh, to observe the Holy Week, uh, good uh, Holy 
Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday. So uh, we will we will spend that in prayer and solemnity and and to think about the reason for this season. Okay, at uh, uh, maging safe po tayong lahat sa mga kailangan natin gawin at gagawin this weekend. At, and of course, pray and uh, and commemorate uh, what happened during this Holy Week. Doon po sa mga Katoliko at mga uh, ang pananampalataya ay pareho natin. No? Pero of course, all over the world pa rin, life goes on, but please keep safe. And thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for always uh, being here for me. Uh, Angelica, have a good weekend. Happy, uh, I mean, Holy Week to you pala, pero sa, sa babatiin na lang kita sa Sunday. At lahat po ng nanonood. Maraming maraming salamat po. I didn't see your names. I'm so sorry. My broadcast uh, got cut off this morning, so I don't know kung tuloy-tuloy ito. But thank you very much, and have a nice day, everyone. And enjoy your lunch po. Ano man lunch? Ako pang sarap. I have tinapang bangus for lunch, and nilagang baka as, as my stew. Thank you very much, and Happy weekend. Happy Holy Week. Inyong natuhayan at napakinggan ang mga makabagong pamamaraan sa mundo ng online sa pamapagitan pa rin ng broad streamcast communicators. Hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat po.